it's uh, Easter Monday and uh, it's currently about 10 to 11 and we're standing on the football field and I thought I'd just give you a quick panoramic view around uh, the uh, pitch. So we've got uh, Fubé over there, uh, Volandriac offices, a little statue on the top of the hill and as we come around we've got a generator and some of the cabins and the blue one right in front is mine, some of the uh, Cocoa Beach staff are over there. The big building is more accommodation for Cocoa Beach staff. As you can see, we've got the football pitch and then looking inland a little bit, here in a bit of hill and more of the accommodation over there. So I'm going to take a walk into the, uh, the village and uh, try and uh, show you my uh, what I see as I walk into the village every day. So let's uh, walk off the football pitch and head towards Vic's house, which is just over there. This is the way in to Cocoa Beach. And as I mentioned before, the road to the most definitely 4x4 four four stuff. You would not do that on any that journey on any other kind of vehicle. It really isn't very uh, very friendly at all. And um, the uh, even some of the cows and cattle um, have trouble sometimes. So uh, that's Big's house over there. And uh, this is my walk in towards the village. So as I get a little closer to the village, I'll switch the camera on again. Um, see you in a minute. It's a beautiful view across the uh, Poo Bay and Poo Beach Harbour. Uh, I'm on just on the outside outskirts of the village and uh, what I'm going to do is just keep the camera running and walk through the village, try not to be too uh, conspicuous, try not to be too intrusive and just show you what the village is like. On the left is a place called Club Alu Alu. It's like a bit of a community centre that's been built by um, volunteers and, and funding from um, other conservation type um, organisations, I'm sure. Um, I know that Blue Ventures spend a lot of time um, organising events on and around here. It's a bit of a community centre spot, really. Got some accommodation over here. This is, we're somewhere near. Vivian's hut, which is on the right, and there's probably some of my clothes actually drying on the line at the moment. But uh, let's just keep on going through. On the left here, you've got some of the community huts. And this is the, uh, the main street. So a couple of shops further up. The Lama. The general greeting is Salama. Lots of very friendly kids in particular will be talking to you all the while. You'll hear the word Fazar used quite a lot as well, that means foreigner. So we'll wander along and let's just uh, see what we see. Salama. 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 See the kids are so friendly. Salama. 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 Salama, you're on camera. Yeah, Say hello, this is, this is Okay, cleaning up? Yeah, cleaning up. Uh, okay, this is this is the Madusu disco bar. They had a big party here last night and they're cleaning up now. We'll come back, come back later. We'll come back in later. Baluma. This is the, uh, the supermarket. And uh, as you can see, and this is the, this is the, uh, village side tells you we're in Andavadoc. We've got some trucks. There's some music playing somewhere. 
Good luck, Ma. Someone's celebrating Easter quite hard. Good luck, Ma. Up ahead on the uh, on the right, this is where the where the zebu trucks park. Someone's got some fish. Salama. So what you've got here, if you don't have a cart, a truck, most of the time they use these carts, and you've got some zebus here. So this is the uh, the main transport for moving things around if you don't have access to one of these, which is the camion. So that was the main street. We're moving out of the village a little bit. We've got school on my left. Salama, video. Video. So, salama. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Paloma. So, we've got a school here for the older kids. That's the uh, road to a place called Beth and Death. It takes us out of town. That's the way we would come in to Andavadoc from uh, the south in Tulia. Uh, this is the road through the village that you would take us on towards uh, Morombe. And we've got school buildings. Salama. Hope you can hear me. It's not too windy. It's a nest breeze today. The, uh, the church and where the, uh, the mission missionaries are. And that's the main entrance to the school. More village huts here. We're continuing out through the village. Salama. Salama. Volvo. Salama. So the village has got some electric lights. They're mainly solar powered, but it's really, uh, it's really great. I mean, it doesn't mean they have to run too many generators. Salama. And this is pretty much moving towards the end of the village. I might try and walk along the beach later. Let's see how we do with that. Salama. Well, well. And towards this end of the village, we've got uh, Blue Ventures staff. Um, some of the Malagasy staff have their accommodation up here. Salama. One thing you notice is that everybody lives really close to each other. Salama. So we're nearly at the end of the village and this is the track that I use when I walk out of the village to go to the uh, to the phone point which is about another 45 minutes walk away and this accommodation over here is the uh, is where a lot of the Blue Ventures Malagasy staff live so it looks really nice as well looks good they've got a nice view across the sea so that's it it's a big village um, Lots of sticks, lots of small huts, everybody living very close to each other. But uh, it's very self-sufficient. It's uh, quite an experience to be here, really, and uh, really glad I have got here. So uh, here's some kids playing. Salama. <laughs> okay, speak to you later.